Alright, so now that we've got that out of the way, I'm going to be showing you guys actually how to download and install Nova. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the first thing in the description, it's going to take you to the Nova Discord, and once you join that, all you're going to want to do to actually download the uh, the launcher is you're going to want to go to downloads, and you're going to want to make sure you turn your antivirus off, so if you don't know how to turn your antivirus off, there's probably tons of videos on how to do that, I don't really feel like I should cover that, because if you don't know how to turn your antivirus off, you should probably like learn another way. But anyway, once it's off, you can actually go ahead and download the Nova installer. So what you want to do is you want to click on the link here, and you're going to want to click to continue to download. And then it's going to bring you to the Nova Discord. It's already downloading, but I already have it downloaded. And if it's asking about your security, like, if it's asking if it's, like, dangerous, just accept the risk. It's all The only reason it thinks of that is because your computer detects it as... Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's basically it's it's super safe. I have it. I I well, obviously wouldn't download it if it was if it was um, if it was a risk. Uh, it's detecting a virus. There is no virus. Trust me, guys. Like it's a hundred percent safe. It's global and like over forty thousand people play this a day. So you just click set the risk and want to download it. Um, if it doesn't let you download it, you probably didn't um, fully turn off your antivirus because it will not let you download it if your antivirus is on. So you just want to go ahead and download it. And once you download it, it will be in your files. Uh, I forget where I... He, yeah, it's right here. So the Nova installer. Uh, I already have it installed. So what you want to do is you want to go to where you installed that. You want to double click it. And it's going to basically... Like, pull up a prompt. It's going to ask you to launch. Once when it's fully downloaded, there's going to be a little button in the corner. It's going to say tell you to launch. And then when you launch it, it's going to, it's going to look like this. Like, all this stuff. And then it's going to bring up a login page. Now, once you get to here, what you want to do to actually create an account, you want to go back to the Discord and you want to scroll down and look for bot commands. And then you want to tap slash create. And then you're going to click on that. It's going to ask for your email, your username that you want, and your password. So the email you can use whatever you want. I'm just going to use a random one. Um, I'm just going to type in. Oops, and I'm gonna have this blurred so you guys won't see my email. And as well, I'm gonna type in a username. For the username, I'm just gonna do something random like uh, something random. And then the password can be. I'm gonna have the password blurred as well. Password. I'm just gonna make it. And then you're just gonna type that. You've already created an account. It would say successfully created, but since I have already made an account, it will just say this. So, uh, if you did it correctly and the username isn't like taken, it will say you've successfully created an account. But since I already have one, it um, like it won't like it'll obviously say this if you already have an account made. So once you actually do have your account made, all you need to do is log back in with the email and the password. So I'm gonna do that. And once you're actually like have everything typed in, you do want to press remember my login, click accept, and then log in. It's going to log you in. And then once you are logged in, to actually download the build, what you're going to want to do is go to the downloads tab. It's going to be 41 gigabytes, so you will need to have some space. And then you're going to want to actually download it. I already have it downloaded, so I can't really show you guys how to download it. But when you guys download it, it's going to ask you about a file. All you want to do is you're going to want to go to wherever you want to have it stored so you get a desktop or something and you're going to want to right click hit new folder and then you're going to want to name the folder like uh 7.40 or whatever that's where you're going to download the thing to and then all you need to do is click it and click um okay or whatever the, whatever the button is to actually you know do it since i already have this i'm just going to delete that because i already have mine downloaded to should be here. I do. Uh, I think it's actually in my downloads. Yeah, here it is. Nova 7.40. This is where I have my Nova downloaded, and the, whatever you guys name your folder will be wherever it's downloaded to. So once it's downloaded, um, all you need to do is you need to go to Nova. Obviously, like I said, you need to make sure that your antivirus is off, or you cannot play. You'll be able to load it up, but you won't be able to play anything. So you're gonna click launch, and then it's gonna launch the game for you, and. 
the download will take quite some time and it will like it'll be different depending on how good your wi-fi is mine didn't take that long i have pretty good wi-fi and i also have an ethernet so it didn't take that long i think it took about 15 minutes roughly for the download which is pretty pretty fast so that's awesome um another a couple other things i'm going to cover in this video are how to get edit arm release since they don't have it in the actual settings tab i'm going to show you how to play late game and i'm also going to show you guys how to get stretched res just like the original one from season 7 where you had like the wide fov the really wide screen um and it also works it works the exact same way you would get stretch res on regular fortnite it's just um like basically the screen is a lot wider so i'm pretty sure that my recording will be messed up like it was in my last stretch res video i made so if it is don't mind it It'll, mine will probably look different than yours so when you load up you're gonna see you're gonna have you're gonna be level 100 you're gonna have a thousand v bucks and if you go to your locker you actually gonna have every single skin in the game for a limited time um like you have every skin back bling pickaxe glider contrail etc every single emote um and i think it's yeah it's, it's pretty it's pretty awesome like i can like i can click on any skin i want put on any back bling everything works the only thing that i notice is if you're wearing the skull trooper skin it will make you default after some time which i don't know if that's a bug that they're trying to fix or anything but uh but yeah so now if you guys do want to play um late game all you need to do is you want to go back to discord so i got a discord here you're gonna go up to where is it server uptime and if you scroll to the top you late game matchmaking code so what you need to do is you need to copy the code for whatever region you're on so if i'm on any east you're gonna click on you're gonna basically um copy this code right here and then you go back to Fortnite, you go to the you click here, go into custom options, and you paste that code in. So I didn't paste it because I don't really feel like playing that game. I'm about to close the game anyway. And then you would uh you'd be able to load in the late game. I don't know how many people play late game because I don't know how many people know about it, but it's there if you do want to load in. Also, you guys can also add me if you want to. This is my username, this is the account that I play on. It'll be on the screen now if you can't see it that well, and it will also be in the description. If you guys do want to add me to add friends, uh, all you need to do is go here, add friends, and type in their username, and you can add them, you can play with them. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you do also, like, you can show all of matches you've played for everything. I haven't played any duo squad games, I, like, I haven't been playing this for that long. And it also shows you limited time mode games, so I think it's pretty cool. They also do have playground mode, but you can't play playground mode unless you actually buy their subscription. So if I close the game here... You can go to, I do believe it's subscriptions, and then you can click on the description here. You can click on it. There's a tier one, a tier two, and a tier three. Each of them will give you the. Um, this one will give you access to playgrounds. This one will give you to 16 to 32 player box fight, along with tier perks. This one will give you private 1v1 build fights and like other perks. And I do believe that paying for this will also give you the um, the Chapter 2 Season 4 build, which is obviously exclusive to everyone that pays for the membership. It's $10 a month, $20 a month, and then $50 a month. And you also get like some cool things for your Discord, which I think it's pretty worth it. I haven't paid for it yet, but I definitely think I will in the future because I think it's really worth it. Um, and I do believe, like, I'm pretty sure Nova's global, so they have they have servers for everything. I think I don't know if they have Middle East out yet, but they do have any East, any West, um, Brazil, Asia, Europe, etc. That they, they, I'm pretty sure, like, they've gone global. I think they just added Middle East like a few weeks ago. So, and there's tons of players. Like you're, like I'm always getting in the stacked lobbies that you guys saw at the beginning of the video. Um, I, you're getting into 94 to 100 player lobbies you can play duos and squads with all your friends it's definitely worth it and that's why i think like honestly nova is a game changer like back in like when they first started making builds like this you could only play like by yourself and explore the map so now they have it you can actually play with people so i think that's pretty cool it's all real people there's no bots just like how it used to be and i think it's pretty worth it so now that we've got that out of the way i'm going to be showing you guys actually how to get uh confirm edit on release so what you need to do is you need to go to the nova launcher you need to have make sure the game is closed 
and the only thing you have open is the Nova Launcher. You're gonna click down the little gear icon down here, and then it's gonna it's just to bring to the settings. You're gonna have Edit Bone Lease and an instant reset. So that's for scroll wheel reset. Uh, if you have the if you know how to actually put on scroll wheel reset, I'm not gonna cover that in the video. But if you do have it, this just makes it um, like. I don't know how to. I, I really don't really know how to explain what it does, but basically, I have scroll. I use scroll reset, so I have this on. I don't know how it would be like without it. You guys can feel free to test it out if you want. And then editor releases right here. Memory leak fix. If your game is experiencing crashes within a minute of starting, enabling these settings may help resolve the issue. I don't really have that issue, so I don't have it turned on. So. With that out of the way, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to get stretch res. I think my stretch has turned off, so what you're going to want to do is just like if you've watched my other video, the card will be up there, but um, you can also follow along with this video if you don't feel like clicking on it. I'm just like, it's also just there if you want to go watch it. So on your keyboard, you're going to hit Windows and R at the same time. It's going to bring up this prompt, and then all you need to do is type in percent local app data percent, and you click OK. It's gonna bring up this. Uh, can I, yeah, I move that out of the way there. You can scroll, and you're gonna want to look for Fortnite game. You double click on that. Double click on saved. Double click on config. Double click on Windows client, and then right click on game user you settings. Uh, and you go to properties. And make sure that read only isn't checked. If you're doing this for the first time, it will be checked. All you need to do is uncheck it. Click OK. Now you can double click into the thing and you're going to, want to click control F and you need to search for this frame rate and you enter it's gonna bring you to here uh, wait not enough frame rate you're gonna look for uh, I think it's resolution I believe yeah so here you go so you, you type in resolution you click enter it's gonna bring you down here all you need to do is the stretch res if you want to get the one that they used back in the OG days which made your FOV water you want to type this right here you want to do 1440 by 1080 and then this one's going to be 1440 by 1080 as well and then when you're done that all you need to do is hit Control s or you can go up to file and click save so once you do that you can close it close the windows client open up the nova launcher go down to the build and you can launch the build and you can see you won't really notice much of a change in the actual uh, the lobby the only differences you'll see are actually in game so if you go in game and it doesn't look any different at all then you probably either didn't save it or you didn't type it in correctly so it didn't save so all you would have to do is go and type it in again so I'm just gonna show you guys what that looks like real quick like I said I don't know how it's gonna show up on the recording so if it does look messed up that's like it's not my fault I don't really know how to fix it I'm trying to figure out how to get that issue resolved because it did happen in the last stretchers video that I made so just gonna test it again hopefully it worked um but like i said no no pro like like obviously it's like <laughs> there's no promises that i'm gonna know what it's gonna look like um so just launch honestly i think like nova's i feel like it's probably gonna overtake regular battle royale especially for all the og players that have pcs so one thing you will notice is that your character will be a lot farther out and that's one thing that i noticed about stretch Riz. Go to your locker, it's gonna look normal, but the frames are gonna be a lot more crisp. So if you go to your settings, uh, when you're in stretch res, it's gonna be a lot harder to click on buttons. You have to go like click to the side of it. So if you're trying to close your game, I wouldn't recommend going like this, or you're gonna accidentally tab out of your game, <laughs> and it's gonna mess up your stretch res. So if you do want to close the game on stretch res, I recommend pressing escape and then closing it right here. So, uh, for if you do go to your settings uh, and you do want to change your um, your settings, obviously everything is here. I have all my stuff to near and off, everything like that. Uh, V-Sync off, motion blur off, show FPS. I have that on just so I can see how much FPS I'm getting. I'm getting about 100 FPS right now, which isn't really that good, but that's only because I'm recording and it's taking up a lot of my CPU. So to change your uh, region, you go to your the little gear icon here and it's going to be all right here. So there's any east, there's any west, there's EU. Oceania, Brazil, Asia, and they just added Middle East. And they also have Africa. So, um, I wouldn't recommend staying on auto because you might end up a matchmaking to the wrong region. So, whatever region you are on, just go to that region. I'm on NA East, so I'd go over to NA East. I'd hit A to apply. And all your settings are right here. So, um, 
yeah um i think that's about it honestly if you guys did find this tutorial helpful please be sure to like and subscribe it helps me out. it's free it helps me out a lot and it helps me to produce content for like this for you guys so anyways peace